your scroll. What happened when you took it back to the throat of the world? He must have returned to Sovngarde to feed on the souls of the dead. If you don't find him soon, he'll return stronger than ever. The Jarl's palace in White Run? Ah, oh, yes. The old story about King Olaf's pet dragon. Ingenious. Although, it might be difficult to persuade the Jarl to allow you to use his palace as a dragon trap. I'm sure you'll manage, though. If you can defeat the World Eater, surely sweet-talking the Jarl of Whiteram isn't beyond you. I'm afraid there's a further problem, a serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. All well and good, but did you know that he was Alduin's chief lieutenant in ancient times? Responsible for terrible atrocities. It's true that his crimes are long in the past, but justice does not count the passage of years. The Blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards and then the Emperors. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a Blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. Haven't you been listening to me? All the old tales agree that he has some means to travel to Sovngarde itself. There, he devours the souls of the heroic dead to feed his power. You must find his portal to Sovngarde before he returns stronger than ever. Justice can be harsh, but it is still justice. Parthenax deserves to die. Parthenax was the author of many atrocities during the Dragon War, crimes great enough to be remembered for thousands of years. True, he turned traitor to Alduin and helped overthrow the Dragon Cult, but that does not excuse or expiate his previous deeds. Whether or not he has truly repented or merely acted to save himself, justice demands that he pay with his life. Goodbye, then.